So I had a question from someone that was on metformin because they were a diabetic and they wanted to know, is that going to bump me out of ketosis? Is it going to prevent me getting into ketosis? Well, metformin is used for type 2 diabetes. It's also used for polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, and it doesn't increase insulin like other diabetic medications do. It basically focuses on the insulin receptor. Okay, So it targets insulin resistance. It allows the insulin to be more efficient and to work better in the body. Okay, So that sounds good. Sounds like a great strategy. Uh, doctors say it's safe, you know, it's uh, out of all the medications, it's at least damaging. Then why do they put a black box warning on this medication? Okay, I mean, in order to put a black box warning, there has to be some serious side effects. There is small but fatal lactic acidosis risk. Okay, so there's a small risk that you may develop lactic acidosis and there's a complication that you may die but it's a small risk. So they have to put this black uh, box warning. So what is lactic acidosis? Well, it's a condition where you become hypoxic. You, you decrease your oxygen absorption to the cells. Your pH becomes more acidic in the blood. You get tired. Electrical problems with the heart, like in electrolytes. Uh, you can have heart arrhythmias, abdominal pain, and the side effect of death. If you're a diabetic and you're taking metformin, or you know someone that's taking metformin, this is what you need to know right here. Severe lactic acidosis can be reversed by thiamine, that's vitamin B1, within 24 hours. I'll put the data down below. You can check it out. It's a very uh, simple solution to a very major problem, Okay, B1. You also need to know this. Metformin inhibits B1 transportation. So basically it blocks B1. The more you take metformin, the more you're depleted with B1, the more you're deficient, the more you're going to have lactic acidosis. It's kind of crazy. So you need to know that. Like if you're taking metformin, you want to take it, you better be taking B1. The ideal scene is to just do healthy keto and I'm going to fasting to the point where you don't need this anymore. Now, the other interesting thing is this. There's certain contraindications for taking metformin in the first place. If you have uh, kidney damage or liver damage or cardiovascular damage, they don't want you to take metformin because it will increase the risk of getting lactic acidosis. Now, if someone's taking metformin, they're probably a diabetic, right? And if they're diabetic, they probably have some kidney, liver, and heart problems, don't they? So I guess you have to be pretty healthy to take metformin nowadays to prevent this risk. Again, it's very, very simple. Take vitamin B1, uh, and you can actually greatly reduce the risk of lactic acidosis. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It was called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book, um, more extensive, called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan. Okay, If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. 
I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.